Hey everyone, Uncle Aha Boy Rocks here, and hope you enjoyed my first attempt at a humorous in video intro. So what you are looking at is around my messy shop, um, there's lots of thunder eggs where thunder eggs shouldn't be. So I got them together in, in a box here, and that's what we're going to look at for the next couple of videos is we're going to cut this box of, or at least a good many of this box of thunder eggs that was just kind of randomly around everywhere and see what they look like. So here's my box. Even the box is geeky, but these are thunder eggs that were just kind of around. A good many of them were in the box. I think they were from an eBay lot that said you know, various organ thunder eggs. Oh, there goes one of our little friends marching along. And I think, I want to say that's Buchanan. I crushed a gorgeous specimen of one of these before I had the drop saw. I was trying to clamp it tight enough into the slab saw vise that, so that it wouldn't wiggle. You know, it's almost perfectly round with all the little bumps on it and it liked to wiggle around and I just kept tightening and tightening and crush the gorgeous hollow thing so we'll hope to not do that with this kind of a funky egg here I have no idea which way I um, guess I'll just kind of cut it down this way but lots of agate in there at least I want to say that's Lucky Strike. A couple of Richardson's eggs. Maybe another Lucky Strike. Who knows? No clue. No clue. Dugway, Utah, Richardson's, I would assume, double, and an egg that's so ugly even I'm not going to try and salvage it. Okay, so for this video, I haven't done a double in a bit, so I'm going to cut that. This one. And this big old, I think, lucky strike. Now that green is green tint is probably just the fact that it's been laying out in the rain for probably a year and a half. And then Florida, anything that lays out in the rain for a year and a half turns green. All right, I'm gonna start clamping these in saws and get ready to cut. Here's my three thunder eggs I picked out to cut. I'm going to go, in my opinion, from least interesting to most interesting. I've got them cut. Sanding wasn't perfect, but mine never is. Neither is the polish. So here's the one I thought might be a lucky strike. I think I've changed my mind on that. And I would go maybe with maybe even Forgotten Dragon. Um, if it's from Oregon, which I think it is from what I remember of where I, what box I originally got it from, I would say it's Sucker Creek area and maybe Forgotten Dragon. But anyway, got either some milky white agate or some common opal there 
and nothing else real interesting about that egg. So let's move over here to this double. It's not completely dry, as evidenced by it sticking together. So this is much, much more interesting. Got a couple distinct chambers there, got some water line, got some, I don't know if, the, if this will focus, but got some druzy down in there, got some fortification banding that you can see as it goes in and out of focus. Now this is a good example of cutting an egg horizontally so you see the water line. I was a little bit off. So if we look at this half, right there we're looking about the right direction on the water line. You can still see it and it looks cool, but if we had been a little bit further off, we might have completely missed it. So, kind of set this back together. So I cut it here, and I really should have kind of cut it more like this. But in this, you know, almost round egg, there's no really geometric pressure ridges to look at. Someone that really knew what they were doing could probably pick something out, but it's kind of hard with an egg like that for an amateur like me. So I'm pretty happy with that one. Now this one, the one that I think is a Buchanan egg, I thought this one was really cool. So phone probably isn't picking it up real well, but we've got banding all the way around. We've got crystal formation in this part of the egg with some banding around it here. We've got a water line here and water line here. And this part, it's swirly, almost like a lace agate. See if you can, yeah, I think you can probably get an idea for the, just the crazy patterns in there. Little pocket of druzy there. Just neat. This almost reminds me, like I said, of a lace agate or almost even like a picture jasper. And I like the matrix on these, the shell, how it's, almost geometric little points there all the way around. And I lost a couple little pieces like over here and here and the sanding, but it held together pretty well. So if I can come up with some more of these, I'm gonna. All right, so as the wind kind of rocks my ring light stand and camera, you can see the fan behind me spinning on its own. It's pretty breezy out here on a Florida afternoon, but nice and cool for the start of May. Hope you enjoyed some eggs that I found laying around in places they weren't supposed to be and decided to cut and polish. And I will see you next Thunder Egg Thursday.